色的，很所以平肤色的都很老。哎，不是它痛啊，它也痛啊，就痛的都会痛。A nine-year-old female Doberman Pinscher was brought to the clinic as she was limping and seemed lethargic. Her front paw pads were raw and swollen, and she did not allow the vet to open her mouth. When the vet finally managed to pry her jaws apart, the dog went into a frenzy and started pawing her mouth. This video is an educational video to show the treatment of periodontal disease in dogs. Judging from the tata coated over her teeth and the extent of gum inflammation and recession, the dog was diagnosed to be suffering from periodontal disease. Periodontal disease is the inflammation of the gums and the structures supporting the teeth. It occurs when bacteria between the teeth and gums build up, and together with food particles and other organic materials, it forms a yellowish-brown, soft deposit called plaque. As the plaque hardens, it becomes tata which collects the most on molars and premolars around the cheek area. As the gum infection attacks the structures supporting the teeth, it progresses into the infection of the roots of the teeth or periodontitis. Periodontal disease can be classified into four stages. Inflammation of the gums occur in the first stage. Early periodontitis hits in the second stage, in which 0-25% of bone loss occurs. The extent of bone loss can be determined by dental radiographs or x-rays. In the third stage, gum recession can be observed and there is 25-50% bone loss. In the fourth stage, there is obvious gum recession and 50% or more bone loss. In the last three stages, as the structures supporting the teeth become inflamed, the teeth loosen and may eventually drop. Tuesday 28 January 2014, this 12-year-old female Bepalon has periodontal disease. The left canine tooth, you can see the tartar and uh, the gum, you can still see the gum, but the gum line has receded a bit. Now, this could be periodontal disease grade 2 or grade 3. Depends on the tissue attachment loss. The periodontal tissue attachment loss, in this case, is probably 25%. So, it, it could be classified as grade 2 or grade 3 periodontal disease. Now, we look at this uh, canine tooth, the right canine tooth, which is uh, which is very, which has a periodontal disease grade 4. You can see that the gum line has receded and the, the root, the black root of the canine tooth is exposed. And you can see the path. In this case, the periodontal tissue attachment loss is definitely more than 50%. So this, on this side, is classified as periodontal disease grade 4. So, grade 4 means uh, inflammation of the gums, gingivitis, plus pus discharge, which is at the seen as a grey, greyish area, and tissue, periodontal, periodontal tissue attachment loss of more than 50%. So, you can see the roots, and there's a very foul smell coming out from the, this side. Tuesday, 28 January 2014, 10-month-old Dachshund. This video is to show how a 10-month-old Dachshund has no periodontal disease. You can see that there is no inflammation of the gum. And uh, so, if you refer to the canine, there is no inflammation. Inflammation of the gums, the, the gum line will be reddish in color, and this will be loose. But you can see that there is no periodontal tissue attachment loss. It's quite solid. And uh, overall, there is no plug and no tartar on this side, the left side. On this side, that's a, although it does not have periodontal <coughs> disease, and the gum line is a bit of inflammation, but not much. But you can see the plug. This is the plug or the tartar forming because. The, the obstruction of the puppy 
uh, retain puppy canine to causes obstruction and the foot get stuck there. So there is some plug formation. So I would advise that all owners to remove the the puppy tooth, puppy canine. You can see below it's gone. So there, there isn't a puppy canine tooth here. And so the permanent tooth grows very, uh, it grows normally and uh, it's not being obstructed in its uh, growth. The root is not obstructed. Here the root is obstructed in the growth because of this uh, puppy canine tooth. And uh, the, the, in many dogs, the hairs get trapped here and the foot get trapped in between. As you can see, there's a bit of a uh, plug now forming. Later on, there'll be a uh, hairs and foot stuck there and the tartar will form and becomes uh, in inflamed and that will cause periodontal disease in this permanent canine tooth later on, maybe one year later or two years later. And uh, so in dogs like this, 10 months old, the puppy canine tooth will not drop off. So ask your vet to remove it, to extract it out. Otherwise, uh, it will cause periodontal disease in the two canine tooth. As you can see, the starting, the plug is here. Mm. And then uh, slowly it will become black. And uh, uh, now I can scrape off, you can see there's some hair there, you can see? Some hair stuck there. Then later on, the, the infection will go below the gums. And then this is the periodontal tissue. Attachment will, will become loose. So you have different stages. In this, in this case, there is no loose periodontal tissue attachment, so there is no periodontal disease in this puppy yet. So this is a case of no periodontal disease. Treatment of periodontal disease involves an antibiotic injection to eliminate the bacteria in the mouth, then dental scaling, and extraction of the affected teeth on the following day. January 22, 2014, the Doberman, the old Doberman didn't allow me to open the mouth yesterday because it was very painful. After antibiotics injection given 20 hours ago, 20 hours ago yesterday, now I will attempt to open the mouth and uh, there should be less pain. You can see the eye, eye infection is gone, not so much. Yesterday the, the eye was full of discharge because I was rubbing, he was pouring the mouth. So now I open the mouth and you can see he doesn't mind so much. Huh? You can see the there's much less pain. Let's get this one. This one you think of. Mm. Mm. This one, this one needs a little pull. Nice and pull. Mm, good. So, the paws of Doberman Pins jaw were not actually injured. Rather, bacteria from her mouth spread to her paws, then she used her paws to relieve the pain in her mouth. This caused her paws to become swollen and painful, which resulted in her limping. As periodontal disease mainly affects dogs 6 months and older, do bring your dogs for regular dental checkups.